I'm Nia. I'm Miranda. I'm Julia. I'm Rita. And, and we're Cherry Bombs. The first thing that I wanted to say about bullying was uh, if you're being bullied, uh, just, just reach out to somebody because the best thing you can do is get help and um, tell somebody about it because when you tell somebody, it puts an awareness out there so that it can end. I mean, bullying is a it's it's a touchy subject because each situation that somebody is in it will always be different. I mean, somebody could get picked on for the way that they look, or someone could get picked on for you know who their who their family is, who their friends are. It totally depends, um, how, you know, where they live or, or how much of this they have, or whatever it is. And um, the, I think the strongest thing. To, to help keep you, like, to, to keep you grounded and, like, you know, make you still feel appreciated is to always have friends. Because, um, I mean, we've all, we've all been, you know, we've all dealt with bullies and it's not, it's not cool. I mean, I've had friends who have been on the verge of suicide, but because, um, you know, I was their friend or they've had other friends, you know, we help them get through it. And, um, if you are dealing with anything like that, go to a close friend, go to somebody you can trust and just talk to them about it. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is keep it to yourself because you can't hold all that in. I, I've tried it, it doesn't work, you know, I, that's why I love having these girls. Or tell an adult, tell anyone you know you can trust. Because, you know, bullying, it's, it's, you, you have to realize that it's not against you, it's because the person bullying isn't happy with themselves and they're taking it out on other people. Um, my story is when I was in sixth grade in um, middle school, a lot of the time, like, I was kind of a shy kid, I was really, like, I was an outcast, and people didn't like me, so I got picked on a lot, got pushed around, mentally abused mostly by people I thought were my friends, which, if people are abusing you like that, if they're mentally abusing you, any kind of abuse, all of them are just as bad, there's no, there's no that's not as bad. Um, they're not your friends if they're abusing you. They're not people you want to hang out with. Get better friends. Get people who love you. I went to my parents about it because I'm so close with them and I tell them everything. So when I told them that, they stuck up for me. They they told me why, like I'm worth something, you know. And they bullies make you feel like you're worthless, but you're not worthless. I think um, I think everybody goes through a certain phase where they try to find themselves. And one thing to always like remember is you have to accept yourself before you know anybody else tries to accept you. Because I mean, when I started middle school, I would go to school every day wearing black clothes. I would wear black eye makeup, and I had black hair. And everybody would call me like emo, a skunk, a raccoon. And I mean, everyone thought I slit my wrists because I listened to weird music. Um, I wore these clothes and all this makeup, but it wasn't wasn't that I was cutting myself. It wasn't that I was depressed. That's just the way I expressed myself. So, and it was just that's something that I knew who I was, and I accepted it. So it really helped me. And that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you.